Hello everyone here, Edward from Nokia Mobile Blog, and I have a Nokia N950 right here. This is a Migo Hormatan device. It's only for developers. Nokia is not going to be selling this to the public. It's just for developers to create apps for the upcoming Nokia N9. So basically what I'm going to do here is an overview of Migo UI. So let's start. So Migo UI is the first platform that does not require any buttons for it to work. As you can see, there's no home, back, or search button. There's really nothing. It's really clean. And you turn on the device like that. You just double tap. You can also, there's also a switch here. You can turn it on and off. But, you know, turn it on like that. It's, it's really cool. So basically what you can do is just slide your finger and it will take you to the UI or you can also, if you have received a text message, you can slide the text message and it will take you to a text message. So there we go, it just took me to my messaging center. What you can also do is do that and then hold it and it will show you four shortcuts. So you can, for example, take pictures really quick and fire up your camera in a record time. So as you can see, instead of hitting a back button, for example, to exit an app, all you have to do in Migo is swipe back. So you just swipe. If you swipe like that, it will put the app in the background. If you swipe like that, it will close it. So that's, that's very easy to use and very intuitive. So we're here in the desktop. Basically, it's an app drawer. You have all your apps here. You have a phone, contacts, search, web browser. I just finished doing a, a web browser comparison between Windows Phone and Migo, and Migo won by a lot, almost 100 points in this HTML5 loading test. You should check that out on at nokiamobileblog.com. So I'm going to exit here and continue. I have the camera, clock, calendar. I have a mail application right here. You can set up your mail there. There's a music application, which is very clean and easy to use. There's also a Maps and Drive application, which is basically a free turn-by-turn -turn navigation app. Here you have accounts. You can add Facebook account. You can have your Nokia account here. You can have various emails account. You can have also Twitter accounts. And uh, you can change here your Facebook presence. You can change from offline to online and start chatting with your friends straight from the platform. You don't need the Facebook app or anything, even though it came with a Facebook app pre-installed. There's also a um, built-in uh, feed app, so you can just configure your, your feeds right there and start reading whatever you want there. You can also organize this by, by just long pressing. You can switch them around. Whoa, I don't know what happened there. But if you hold them, you can just switch them around and organize them however you want. There's also a terminal app for you to just type commands away. There, there's also a Nokia store here. You can download apps, you can browse apps. It looks pretty similar to the Symbian 3 OV store, but I think it's called, oh no, yeah, it's an OV store here. I'm pretty sure Nokia is going to be changing that to Nokia store pretty soon. So let's go back. So that was the app drawer, basically. It's in the middle. If you slide to the right, you have all your open apps. This is basically just a multitasking interface. You can make everything smaller. You can make it even, I think, bigger. Not you can make it bigger, but you can make it smaller. And those are all the apps that are running. And to the left, here you have all your notifications. I don't have any notifications at the moment, but if I had an email, it would show up here. Or if I, if I had a text message, I would, it would show up here. And this is basically my Facebook feed. And you can also have your tweets here if you want it. So that's basically Migo. It's very clean, very elegant, very simple to use. I think Nokia did a great job. And I'm definitely looking forward for the Nokia N9 to come out. So I don't think I'm missing here anything. That was basically a really quick overview. But I pretty much covered everything that Migo, um, well, not can do, but I pretty much covered everything that Migo has on the surface. So that was Migo and Swipe UI.
All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully, we'll be reviewing the Nokia N9 pretty soon. Stay tuned.